Hi there, you've tuned into the Unboxing with Marty channel. If you enjoyed this video and the videos on this channel, please subscribe. So I've got this really beautiful 2011 iMac. I uh, picked it up at a garage sale for 20 bucks and uh, it's getting old. It's not getting security updates and really honestly, it's getting hard to find web browsers that uh, I'm comfortable using. I'm out looking for an operating system to breathe new life into this device. So Zorin OS 17 Pro just might be the answer. I went ahead and purchased the uh, Pro version and installed it on this very device. Uh, one of the reasons I decided to start with Zorin OS 17 Pro is with this new release, there's some pretty exciting features. On the Zorn webpage, you can get a pretty good idea of some of the features it has to offer. Some of it is pretty exciting, isn't it? By the way, if you're interested in how to download and install the Zorn OS, I recommend going to the Zorn OS webpage. They have very good instructions on how to do this. Here it is. We've got the uh, Zoran OS 17 running on a 2011 iMac. That iMac has 8 gigs of RAM, 500 uh, gigs of storage, and an i5 processor. After the initial install, I did make some changes. For example, these four icons, I placed them here. Let's have a look at the apps that come with Zoran 17 Pro. Can't help myself, I need to take a look at the weather. Zorin 17 Pro includes Firefox as the web browser. There are other web browsers available. LibreOffice is included, so uh, I'm going to go ahead here and open up the uh, word processor just to give it a try.
This is the software app that allows you to download apps to your device. Ah, and Zoran appearance. Uh, we'll dabble in this a little bit later on. Hey, how you doing? You're watching the Unboxing with Mark channel. You know, if you're enjoying this video and the video is on this channel, now might be a good time to hit that subscribe button below. Uh, that being said, let's get back to the video. What we're going to do is just uh, play with some of the Zorn effects and we'll just dive right in. So, to get this to work, we're just going to open up a few apps here. Let's get these opened. There you go. That's the uh, Zorn appearance. That's what we're going to play with. And we're going to open up one more window. So right now as it is to navigate between these uh, windows that are open, we're going to hit the Alt tab. And you can see you navigate through them. There you go. There you go. There you go. And there you go. I mean, you can navigate. It's very easy. You can just navigate through all of these as you want to go through. So let's go through to the uh, appearance. And let's go with some of the effects. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on, we're going to turn this on, and we're going to turn this on. And we're just going to dive in. Again, we'll hit the Alt tab. Look at that. Now we're moving this way. Kind of nice, right? So next thing we can do is we can hit this. There you go. Look at this. Well, we can do more with this. So let's just uh, drag one over here. You know what, we're going to take this one and see now we've got these up here. You know, we'll go back here and look again. You can see this. See how you got these up here. So we're going to take this one and just drag it right up into there. Boom. Drag this one over here. There. So we've got them all filled up. So we can left click with the mouse button here. Pull down just a little bit and look at that. We get a little bit of a 3D effect there. Kind of nice. Move around, navigate. You can also, uh, with the keyboard I have, it does have a... Uh, kind of a uh, laptop pad on top. So I could, with my two fingers, I can move back and forth this way. So there are more features you can use with. There's like a three thing, uh, three finger swipe, but uh, I don't have that available on my uh, keyboard. So we go back here. Of course you can navigate by clicking here. You can click on the individual uh, items here. And Bring it up. There you go. Now let's uh, have some fun. Let's go and let's go look at. There we go. We're gonna stop right here. So now here we're gonna take a look at the appearances. Oh, I, I love that jelly mode. That's this thing right here. I have always liked that. I don't know. I just was fun for me. So uh, let's go to the layout. Okay. Let's see what can we do here. Well, this is the one I kind of kind of kind of like this one kind of has that uh, look that I like. So we can go here. I'll shrink this down. So again, we can see all the apps this way. There's your web browser. Let's do this. Change the background. I am going to go with this one. Kind of makes you feel at home, doesn't it? Take a look here. We're going to open up this. And again, what I want to point out is 
here. Kinda looks familiar, right? That is, if you're a Mac OS user. Expand it. Kinda has a familiar feel to it, doesn't it? Let's just explore some of these layouts. That looks familiar, doesn't it? We're going to go back to this. You might be asking about the firewall. Here it is. Enter your password and you have access to the firewall. A simple flip of the switch and the firewall is enabled. This will conclude this video. I do appreciate you uh, watching. And if you enjoyed this video and the videos on this channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and tell your friends about this channel. Thank you.